Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson, and today we're going to be playing against Wyoming and my Montana Grizz Dynasty. We've been having an awesome season with these guys so far, and if you're wondering why I chose the Montana Grizz, well, they went to the national championship in the FCS this season, and while they didn't win, they still had a great season. I've been pulling for these guys for a really long time. My granddad lives up there. I took a trip to Montana, and it's still the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. So, I got the Grizz gear on. We're ready to get week 13 started here at home at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Kinda. You'll see what I'm talking about. I also have a different intro today, so I'm excited to show y'all that. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and fire my guys up, show y'all the uniforms, and we'll see y'all on the field. everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Mountain West action just about set to go, players wrapping up warm-ups, kickoff coming up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. The fans have dressed in layers and we'll see some cold temps for the Wyoming Cowboys and the Montana Grizzlies. Well folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kurt? Wyoming should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. You're absolutely right. Yeehaw! I'm picking the Cowboys. <laughs> All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. Well, Coach Corso must have been on to something because these Wyoming Cowboys came right out and they meant business scoring on their first drive, so we got to do the same. We're about to ride number 10 this game, so we're going to give it to him again, see what he can do on this counter. Running from the shotgun. Stiff arming his man. Gilman gets to the 40. Let's go. That's a big grown man run from him right there. So it was a great start running the ball on the ground. Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, pocket's starting to collapse. We're going to have to run, and Glifton's just not fast enough to get away from him. So we'll take our first negative play of the game. Now we need to try and get these yards back. So we're going to try and run something right here with Bergen. Get around the edge, but we're only going to get about three. Now we wanted to try and get our tight end involved last play. We threw the ball, but we couldn't quite get him. So we're going to see what happens here. We got our guy Gilman again. He's going to get us closer to the first down marker, but it's not going to be enough. All right, so for some reason, the game wants us to punt it here. So we're never going to argue with that logic. We're going to just take it over here, see what we can get. We're going to heave it to Danik, and it's incomplete. It's all right. That's the end of the first quarter, and it was worth a shot. We're going to get... Jason White another chance if you haven't seen him play basketball yet watch our live stream He is our sixth man for the basketball team. That's right. We have a Montana basketball dynasty going I play it on NCAA 10 using the March Madness legacy mods It's pretty much college basketball revamped if you haven't seen it So if you like college basketball, you should definitely check that out if you like this 
Montana Grizz dynasty in football, you'll definitely like the basketball one. We're gonna keep it on the ground here. We should have scored last drive, but we couldn't, and it's all right. We're gonna get in there. And Gilman has a nice run. Big first down on first down. All right, we're gonna go with Fonts here on the end around. Little jet sweep here, see what we can get. He breaks the tackle. Fonts has a nice spin move there for a first down, and that's a 12 yard gain. And the jet sweeps, we've been running them to perfection so far, so we gotta keep it running on the ground. Gilman with another big run, breaks some tackles, and he's gonna get wrestled down right there. But six yard run nonetheless. And Gilman is averaging seven yards per carry. That is perfect. Now we're going to try and get him to bite with a play action here. We got our guy. It's Bergen. You know what he does. He breaks a tackle and he runs into the end zone. Let's go, Grizz. Touchdown. All right, guys. We got a huge turnover right there from our defense. And we're going to try and run it with McDowell here. He's going to stiff arm a man, but... Not much going after that. We do get five, so the second and five, we're gonna try and throw it here. All right, we're gonna come out in the shotgun here. Trips right, Gilman to our right. Schaefer's the tight end on the left side of the line. We're gonna get Schaefer actually for the short game for a first down, because he was way too open not to throw it to him. And guys, I really want this play to work, so we're gonna run it with Bergen on this end around again. Come on, come on, give it to us. Give it to us. Bergen makes a move and he's in. Untouched. Wide receiver jet sweep. We get to the end zone. Let's go. We've been trying to make it work all season and we finally get it here at home against Wyoming. Let's go, boys. Drop a like on this video just for that alone. All right, guys. We can get a huge play right here to either Bergen or Dantic. I like Dantic. Been throwing it to him on a lot of our... Fake punts, and we can't get it to him. We're just going to settle for Helen White here for the first down. Now, this is just a crazy play, bro. Oh, we had him. If he would have caught it, he could have just ran in because that dude was not tackling him. That's his first incomplete pass of the day, and it comes at the end of the first half. So we're straight here. One touchdown lead against Wyoming. Let's see what happens. We're going to return this one with Bergen. He had a great first half. And now he's got this one on the edge. Oh, he's got room. Bergen has his best game of the season. Oh, my goodness, he's gone. A touchdown on the kickoff return to start the second half. Junior Bergen is insane, everybody. We got to drop a like for this man. I'm talking 100 likes for Junior Bergen. We got 100 views on last week's video. So that means we can get 100, 100 likes on this one, all right? I have faith in you guys. I have faith in Racanelli. Lofting one up over the middle, hoping that he's going to come down with it. Because Racanelli's one of the boys. Racanelli liked our tweet. He's a fan of the Grizz dynasty. All right, now that we have a second and one, it's still a close game. Only a one touchdown lead, so we're going to keep running the ball here. We got Gilman, and they were just ready for it there. So we still have a... Third and two, so we are we can still get this in. And just then, you could see how awkward I am talking to the camera. It's so new to me having this webcam, and I like it, though. We got Bergen. He's had so many great plays this game. Why not throw it to him for a five-yard first down, you know? Now we keep it on the ground. We got Danzig in there. We got Gilman with a big gaping hole, and he runs right through the middle of it. 11-yard rush. Big, big 10 yards from Gilman. So we are not trying to get upset at home by little brother on the road. McDowell gets a nice, nice run here. Lee Corso was on to something. Wyoming came to play, and that's okay. We accept a challenge any day. All right, we ran this play at the end of the first half. Kind of. It was a little bit different. But we got the same principle here. Just run it to the outside with McDowell. He fumbles, but it's okay. He doesn't lose it. I'm going to do Keelan on this. Fonts on the outside zig. Ostomo out here in the flat. That looks nice. All right, let's see. We got Y. We high-step the tackler. Hopefully that's not holding on Fonts, even though it maybe should be. We still got the touchdown with Clifton McDowell. Nice. Two-touchdown lead. That's our standard. We always want to have a two-touchdown lead. Let's check our studio update here. What do you got for us, Reese? Let's take a look at some scores from around the 
Joan Ross Simpson having a game over there for Colorado State. We're pulling for Colorado State. We want the Rams to beat UNLV. Alright, so these Cowboys are not going away easily. So we're going to have to run the ball a little bit more here with the lead. Hopefully we can keep it. And we really just got to keep it rolling. That was another great run from Gilman. So... I like this. Let's run it. Got another counter play with Gilman to the edge. And it's a second and short. He stays in bounds. Clock's going to continue to run. This has been a nice close game. We played well. No mistakes that are stupid. Some unfortunate events like there. Now we have a third and second instead of a second and two, but it's fine. Just a little quick out, sprint out pass. Oh my gosh, he's out of bounds. It's all right, we can bring out Jason White one more time. All right, Jason White, 0 for 1 today. We got to convert here. Let's see what he does. White's still going. Oh my God, if he doesn't get this first. No, he didn't. I was trying to do too much with him. That's awful. They could not capitalize on their golden opportunity there. So we're going to get another chance. Mc oh, McTowell hands to Gilman and he just runs over a man. They're going to call a timeout here. We got the rush yards. We got the pass yards. We've got the Heisman performance from McDowell. We just need a little bit more from him, all right? McDowell has nowhere to go with it. He's going to get out of bounds. It's okay. We don't want to try too much. Whew. All right, so we've had a great game so far, so we don't want to throw this one away for any reason. However... We have some unfinished business here with Jason White, and he's been balling on the basketball court, but this has not been his best game so far. He's got his guy. Dantic comes back to the ball, and he just can't get it. But at least we get a dub at home. And we beat Wyoming, who came to play today, and it was a hard-fought victory for the Grizz. Next week, we will play... North Dakota State, and that will be a good game. That is our rivalry game. It will be right here at home. Washington Grizz Lambeau Stadium field, whatever you want to call this place that we've created in our alternate reality for this Montana Grizz dynasty. And let me remind you of something, guys. I understand that this is not the Heisman gameplay we all want to see where everybody's, you know, struggling and we barely win, but we did barely win today, pretty much. It was... In control for most of the game, however, I will say that. But this is not a Montana rebuild. If you want to watch a Montana rebuild, go watch Bordeaux. Go watch somebody rebuild Mid Tennessee State or something like that, or ULM. Like that stuff's entertaining to me. But this right here is more entertaining, in my opinion, because it's a Montana Grizz dynasty. That's the name of the game mode. It's a dynasty. All right. That's why we have 99 overall. Clifton McDowell, because we're trying to get him that real-life transfer to Temple like he really got in real life. We want him to have a great season. We want him to win a Heisman in this alternate universe, and we also want the Grizz to win a college football playoff championship, and that's what we're trying to do here. And I think we're going to make it happen. We could get upset. I've had some horrible losses on this game in the postseason, but this has been so fun. And if y'all have enjoyed this as much as me, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more coming to this channel. Like I said, we got Jason White with the Montana Grizz Basketball Dynasty. We're going to do that live. I tried to do a little basketball tournament the way that we did our 12-team playoff, and it just didn't work out. So I have those live streams and a playlist for our college football playoff if you want to watch that. We're getting very close to our Montana Grizz 12-team playoff, and we may live stream that. If you want me to live stream the 12-team playoff in this, then go ahead and put that in the comments. Tell me that you want me to live stream it. If not, we're probably just going to do uh, all those videos one by one and edit them. And we're not going to play as every single team in the 12-team playoff for the Grizz Dynasty. We're just going to play as the Grizz. So, as always, I'm going to end the video here. We've seen enough today, so y'all stay blessed and peace.